Hi friends, uh, PV here and uh, this is my attempt at vlogging. One of the first uh, things that I thought I should talk on is something which a lot of individual photographers ask me, uh, why shoot film? Now the last year and a half, almost two years I've been shooting a lot of film. Mm, I shoot 35mm medium format and large format portraits. Uh, I've even dabbled at shooting weddings with them. So I, I started uh, obviously photography with film in 1988, uh, shot that about uh, for about 15-16 years until the mid-2000s and then jumped onto the digital bandwagon. And uh, uh, so a year and a half back I kind of went back to film, right? So, so the question was why? So let me be absolutely brutally honest here, there is I think a cool factor. So when I walk around with this in my hand, uh, you know, shooting a lot of heads turn, a lot of conversation start. So it's a definite conversation starter. Let's not deny that. Uh, and when I shoot with my large format, there's a huge, huge curiosity as to what the camera is, how do you shoot with it. So, so yes, there is there is a definitely a cool factor. But then, all that coolness flies out of the window when you get the results. And if you have not done a good job, uh, you know, you could actually. Uh, you know, go into depression uh, for quite a long time. So, so, so it's so lesson number one. It's it's not always just the cool factor, right? There, there's much, much more to shooting film than that. So then, why? So you could be any photographer. You could be uh, a commercial photographer. You could be an artist, a fine art photographer. You could be just uh, a person making memories. Now, the common thing here is that all of us want to improve, right? Now, photography or creating pictures or clicking pictures is not an end in itself. It's a means to an end. So you might want to make money, you might want to make memories, you might want to create art. So there is an end in it. And this end is, is not an absolute end, right? You always want to improve. You always want to be more creative, uh, you know, create a, a style of your own, shoot different things, adapt to different conditions. So how does film really help? Uh, you know, how does going back to the basics really help this process? So for, for starters, uh, when you're shooting film, you, uh, most of the time, and especially if you're using some vintage cameras and old cameras, you have no menu systems, right? There is no menu, there's nothing. There's basically shutter speed. There is, uh, you know, aperture. And then there's ISO inside, right? That's pretty much what you've got to work with. So, so now, once you get that right, you're completely focused on the frame, on the composition, on the light, etc. So if you have a 100 ISO film inside this, you cannot shoot in the dark, period. Uh, so you got to understand the limitations of the technology you're using, which we somehow forget in the digital age, right? We're always scribbing about something not being there in our camera. We are not trying to adapt and still be creative given the equipment that we have in hand. I think film really takes you back to the basics in that sense, right? So you have a 100 ISO film, you are, you'll be able to shoot in good light or you have to create your own light, right? And that's the only way you'll be able to shoot that. Now, let's say you have, on the contrary, you have an 800 or a 1600 ISO film. You can't shoot an extremely bright light, right? You've got to get to shade or, you know, where, uh, uh, you know, you can get good pictures and it's not overexposed. So, so it, it really helps adapt. It, it makes you think on your feet. Uh, you don't have zooms. You don't have super zooms. You don't have tele zooms. You, you got to walk. You got to, and you have only 36 exposures. So. So you've got to get the frame right. You can't go on clicking and hoping that one frame is right. Although you can do that if you have multiple rolls of film, you can do that. But imagine you have one roll of film and maybe four hours uh, to shoot. Uh, how are you going to do that? You, you probably can shoot like one frame in about eight to 10 minutes. And you really got to scout. You really got to understand the direction of light, the quality of light, right? The quality of light is so important uh, because there's not too much you can do in post-processing, right? So you got to get the angle of the light right, you got to get the contrast right. So you need to, if you got to get the contrast right, you need to understand filters. You need to understand how to use color filters for increasing contrast in black and white images. 
For example, red really makes the skin stand out and subdues the greens and the blues, so on and so forth. You know, you, you really learn. And if, uh, you know, you're shooting in like uh, maybe midday or, uh, you know, late in the morning, uh, you could get a blue cast. So you might want to use a warm filter if you're shooting color. So all these things are very basics and it really helps you with understanding white balance in your digital camera, right? Uh, and especially, uh, you know, uh, things relating to exposure. Now, we, we all make mistakes, uh, you know, in exposure when, when we shoot digital and then we know that the, uh, you know, the sensor is so forgiving. It has amazing amount of dynamic range and latitude that, you know, you can always recover highlights and, uh, you know, uh, shadows, but, but not so with film. So, so, you know, if you are stuck in a situation where, let's say you're using flash or, uh, you know, you're in a tricky situation where your camera meter, your digital camera meter is getting fooled, understanding exposure really helps. It will really, really help you, uh, you know, um, get your exposure right the first time because you might in in this whole process of trying to get the exposure right with multiple shots you might actually lose a great moment right you don't want to do that and uh, more importantly more important than all of this i think it's about creating a great image right uh, you know in, when you shoot 36 uh, uh, frames in a, in a film roll you're not going to get all of them brilliant you're going to get probably you know when you if you're if you're a beginner you might get probably one, two, uh, as you get better, you might probably get 10. And I think even great guys get about 15, maybe a little more right, right? So, so that, the joy that even one frame, getting one frame right gives you is, is really, really amazing. Now with digital, we just click hundreds and thousands of images. So one image doesn't really give us that much joy, right? Of course, one of them might go on Instagram or Facebook and get a lot of likes, but but shooting a film really gives you that joy of getting one frame right. And I think, I think that's a joy worth savoring. We've somewhere in this whole process of clicking digital, we've lost the joy of celebrating one good frame, right? And, uh, and you know, uh, like when I shoot with this, there's no menu, there's, there's nothing more I can really do except frame my picture, except understand light except see the quality of light, except understand contrast. Now, these are the things I'm focusing on more than menu systems because there is nothing to really work towards. Plus, I know if I don't bother on these things, I'm going to get a bad frame. I'm, I'm not really going to get anything worth, uh, you know, savoring. So it almost forces you to think about things which are extremely important in photography which is light, color, contrast, and composition, right? The physics is limited to the lens you're using, the optics you're using, your shutter speed, um, and your aperture, right? It's more about the frame, the composition, you know, the light. So, so it almost forces you, and as you do this more and more, it, it almost becomes a habit. And ultimately, when you go to digital, when you're shooting digital and film seamlessly, you will see that, you know, the habits, the good habits of, of shooting film actually permeate into your digital photography. And it does help. Trust me, it does help you becoming a better photographer with a digital camera. So, so send me your thoughts, uh, you know, comment, share if you think, uh, you know, this was, uh, this was worth your while. And if you have any thoughts to the contrary, you want to debate, uh, you know, my thoughts, feel free to do so, uh, would be really uh, exciting to hear your thoughts and, uh, you know, reach out to me for any questions you have. I'm planning to do a couple of more videos on uh, film, on how to shoot film. So basically, what are the steps? So yeah, so more videos coming up. Uh, if you like this, please hit like, share and please subscribe to the channel. It's really going to be useful and uh, looking forward to seeing you again. Thank you.